Why are people buying the SIG P320? Well, I think it depends on who you ask. Some people love this gun, super customizable, it's been really reliable. And some people say you're gonna shoot yourself. I personally haven't seen this. I don't think many people have. However, it did fail drop test in the beginning and it is known for discharging in a holster. All things you wanna keep in mind, but let's jump right in. Sig Sauer claims they fixed the P320 issues both in the not being drop safe and the discharging in the holster. Time will tell if that's true. I'm not sure if they fixed everything. There was recently a case where it did go off. So do your research. If you don't feel comfortable carrying this, totally understand. I feel comfortable carrying the three guns that I have. So we're just gonna go into the build list on some of these and talk about why I really enjoy the P320. I have three different builds for you guys. I'm not gonna go over all the details. So if you'd like to see this in a future video, like a full blown breakdown, we can do that. Drop a comment down below. Um, but there's something to take into consideration with Sig Sauer and the P320 lineup. They decided to call slides the same names. So you have an X compact slide, which is very similar sounding to the compact slide, but it's not. The compact slide is gonna be a 3.9 inch slide and the X compact is going to be a 3.6. The X compact uses a 4.3 inch threaded barrel and a 3.6 inch non-threaded barrel. The X carry uses a 3.9 inch non-threaded and a 4.6 inch threaded. That you need to keep in mind because there's a very big difference. And if you put the wrong barrel in the wrong slide, it's not gonna work for you. Also keep in mind the older compacts use the same as the X carry. That's confusing. I don't know why they kept compact in the name when they made the X compact. They should have called it something else that was less confusing but keep that in mind when you are going to choose a barrel. With this first build, we are running an X carry slide. This also could be an older compact slide, 3.9 inch. We have an HC320 XL on there from Harrington Arms on a full size frame, which gives it this really cool integrated build. You're not gonna have the comp hanging off the end of the slide like you typically would on a Roland Special. One thing to keep in mind with this build is you can run an HC320 on there. The tip of the angle is gonna fall perfectly in line with the X full frame. The 320 XL is a little bit longer on here, but this is a really cool competition setup. If you wanna go a little bit shorter, you can run the 3.6 inch X compact slide with an HC320 flat on there from Harrington Arms. It'll fall perfectly flush with the end of an X full frame. You're gonna find that I like the X full frame a lot because it's very comfortable for me and I can both conceal carry this and do competitions with this. What's also really nice is we make compensators to make an integrated build in any configuration that you want, except for an X compact slide on an X carry frame. That's only about three eighths of an inch wide. So we do not have a micro comp for that yet, but something might be coming soon. Like the 365, the 320 has this FCU system. So you can pull this out and put it in any frame. If you want a smaller frame on here, you can do that. You want a longer frame, obviously you can do that as well. One of the cool things is, is with the serial number being on the FCU, you can get away with changing out the frame. Here we have an Icarus SOCOM aluminum frame. I like this frame a lot. It's very comfortable. It helps with recoil a lot because of the weight of it. Um, the only weird thing is, is holsters are a little bit harder to find. So keep that in mind if you do want to buy an aluminum frame. However, that's what's really cool about the 320 is it's so adaptable. You can change it in so many different ways. You know, these bills look similar, but yet very different. And they all play different roles in concealed carry, competition, or even home defense. There's a lot of aftermarket support for the P320, which just makes it easy on the consumer to find accessories, to find holsters, um, to get you up and running faster with the build that you want. If you're gonna build a Glock, which a lot of people have in the past, you can change some things like stippling, but there's just one thing you can't do and that is change the frame itself. I can commend SIG for making the FCU system. It's really intelligent. It allows you to change it out in so many different ways and really personalize a gun. This is kind of like the Barbie doll for boys, if you will. A lot of guys are running the P320 just because they like tinkering with guns. They like doing setups. It used to kind of be the AR-15 thing, and it's made its way into the pistol realm, which I can really appreciate. I love tinkering with handguns. I love setups certain ways. Changing one thing, going to the range, trying drills, seeing if it makes you a better shooter. It makes the shooting sport not so monotonous. It's not just train, shoot, get better. It can kind of bring in the fun factor of shooting again. A lot of people get take shooting really seriously, as you should, but you can kind of get wrapped in the weeds and just focus on getting better and not actually enjoy the sport. I think the P320 and even the 365 bring that life back to the shooting sport a little bit. And I just appreciate it a lot because I don't have to buy a new gun every year 
to feel the same amount of fun as I did first getting into shooting. I think that's something people aren't talking about is how fun these platforms can be with how adaptable they are and how much you can change the 320 and the 365. It's just really fun is what I'm trying to say. If you are gonna be using the P320 for carry or for competition, you're gonna need a holster. One thing I would recommend is if you plan on adding a compensator at any point, just buy an X full holster because an X compact or an X carry or a full size will fit in that X full holster. And it's even better if you have a weapon light. I always recommend weapon lights for everybody. Competition, that extra weight's gonna help with recoil. And for carry, obviously the benefits are a long list of benefits with a weapon light. Obviously with this setup, I can buy one holster that will fit them all. So it's an X full holster with the TLR1. It'll fit this setup, it'll fit this setup. It will not fit the aluminum frame, um, but it does fit a couple of my 320 setups. We like T-Rex Arms and Tier 1 Concealed, both top-notch holster companies. Um, and it's kind of a buy once, cry once situation. You buy an appendix rig, good to go. You buy an OWB, good to go. You only need two holsters and you can do pretty much anything and everything with it. And what's nice about SIG is if you get the X full, you can fit all the configurations. Later down the road, if you decide you want a full-size slide, take your X compact slide off and you throw it on and it's gonna fit your holster. So that's what's nice about the full size frame is it's super adaptable. You buy one holster, it fits basically any SIG P320 setup that you can do. One of the great things about the 320 is the recoil pattern. It has a higher bore axis, but it actually shoots pretty flat. Obviously with a compensator on there, it's gonna help tremendously. With the HD320 flat, you're going to have less linear recoil and muzzle flip with the side ports and top ports on this. You can take it a step further and do the 320 XL and reduce mostly muzzle flip. Helps a lot, especially with when you're running a thumb rest. We have an aligned tactical thumb rest on here. It helps a lot with the muzzle flip and consistency. Also, if you wanna take it a step further, you can do an aluminum frame. The more weight you add, the less recoil you will feel. Um, so that is another pro to an aluminum frame. If you wanna add even more weight to a setup, you can switch out the TLR1 for an X300. It's a lot bigger, it's a lot heavier. Honestly, with this setup right here, X carry slide, a 320XL, a weapon light, aluminum frame, there's virtually no felt recoil on this. It's kind of like shooting a 22 pistol. It's a really weird feeling. And it's kind of the perfect competition setup. I don't know why I don't see this more instead of like a 2011 race gun, because you're gonna have a lot less money in this setup than you would have built 2011. Um, and if you're just getting into competition shooting, maybe that's something you want to consider is running this kind of setup instead of spending thousands of dollars on a 2011. I guess that's kind of why the 320 is so great is it's so adaptable. You can carry this handgun and then make that exact same gun into a absolute beast of a race gun. So it's just so adaptable to, compared to some of the other handguns on the market. And that's why we talk about it so much is I didn't like the 320. I was actually hesitant to make a P320 compensator because I didn't like the gun. I was afraid of it. I didn't know if it would go off. And then I educated myself. I bought a couple of them. I beat them up trying to get them to discharge and I didn't have any issues. I took the step into designing this P320 compensator. It changed the game and it made the 320 such an amazing platform to shoot. It's so comfortable. It's pretty nice non-comped as well. Um, but adding a comp for some reason, it just like mitigates most of the recoil. And it really opened my eyes up to SIG. I was mostly a Glock fanboy and this kind of changed the game for me. I think if people would educate themselves on a handgun before typing comments and not knowing all the facts, maybe people would open up their minds to the P320 or the 365. A lot of people like to jump on the bandwagon of hating different handguns. And if it's not for a just reason, then doesn't make a lot of sense. People see one video on the internet of this gun discharging and they jump on the train. I'll never buy a P320. But simple fact is how many P320s are on the market? How many have not had issues? If you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel comfortable. There's a lot of other options out there, but you're not gonna get the customization. Maybe one day somebody will build a gun besides SIG that has a really good FCU system that everybody can get behind. And I think there are a couple of guns out there that have a removable FCU but they're just not getting the aftermarket support like SIG does. With all that being said, you can't believe everything you see on the internet. Even what I'm saying, I only have three SIG P320s. You know, maybe I got lucky. You don't have to listen to what I'm saying. Please do your own research. I'm really curious. Are you guys comfortable running the P320 with the issues it has had in the past? 
drop a comment down below. I really want to see what you guys have to say. If you like this video, we'd appreciate a like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.